Hello guys, Damien Jones here again for you today. And today, I thought I would share with you my small collection of trench whistles. Uh, what basically trench whistles are is a certain type of whistle that was issued during World War One and World War Two. Um, they're called the Metropolitan this particular style of whistle and um, they were up until the 1990s still used by the police um, <clears throat> obviously they're used by the army as well they have a very distinctive sound as well they sound a little bit like a train whistle um, I'm not going to demonstrate that because it's about it's gone three o'clock in the morning when I'm making this film I just wanted to show you these um, there are a lot of reproductions and fakes about and I just wanted to show you what uh, a couple of real ones look like basically we'll start with the World War One trench whistle let's see if we can get this thing to focus that's beautiful okay this was made by J Hudson ACE Birmingham in 1915 and as you can see it's got considerable wear on it um the sort of like a chrome a, cr a chrome plate you know for brass i believe or judging by the wear anyway uh as you can see this has got the remains of the original leather lanyard which would have attached to uh, an officer's um, well coat and I find this actually I, the reason why I wanted one of these and I wanted an original one is because I find this quite a poignant piece really I mean you know when one of these were blown possibly even this one was blown you know an awful lot of men were expected to go over the top but this is what an original one looks like there are an awful lot of fake trench whistles being sold at the moment they're exactly the same as these I don't think they're made out of anything more durable than tin really I, I, they might be steel I'm not sure I haven't actually bought a fake one um, they're all they've all got like a date say 1917 or something on uh, and they don't have a maker's mark on it you know they should have J Hudson ACE Birmingham on them and they don't and, and they very often have an extremely large crow's foot marking on them and as you can see here on the world war on a genuine world war one trench whistle um there isn't one of those present however moving on i have a world war Two one as well again by j hudson ace birmingham 1943 and this does have the crow's foot marking on and this is original again But basically, this is what you need to look. This is what you need to be looking for. Um, if you want to buy an original, when I bought these, um, especially the World War One officer's whistle, um, I think I paid about fifty pound for it. Now they may be worth more now. I'm not actually sure. I've had this for some years, knocking about. <coughs> um, a World War Two one, again, you know, they are quite pricey. They're upwards of £40 anyway. Um, things to look out for if you want an original. They seem to be like chrome-plated over brass. Seems to be the material used in an original. They have some weight to them as well you know the quality pieces um they're just stainless steel or tin now 
they have no makers markings and they have a fake a fake reproduction date on and the crow's foot it's it's absolutely massive it's probably the probably about three times the size of an original one on one from the 1940s so you know if you're looking for a trench whistle basically the you know ones that were, the, that were there that are that are the real deal this is what you need to be looking for So take a good look guys and let me know what you think of them and i shall be back again in the new year for now though my name's damian jones thanks for watching and happy new year cheerio for now and all the best